no emergency plan. <laughs> oh, yeah, we have an emergency plan. Mm -hmm. Ditch it. <laughs> oh, like, well. Hi, everybody. Fox Nomad here, and today I want to help you travel smarter. I just got off one of the most amazing trips that I've done. It's something that I've really wanted to do in a long time. Basically, since I started traveling, it was one of the few things that was on my travel list of things to do. And finally now, after however many years and almost a hundred countries now, I finally got to do it. And that is see the blue hole off the coast of Belize by plane. But I'm gonna go back now into the past and tell you how you can have that same experience as well. So this trip almost didn't happen and came together at the very, very last minute. All right, so I finally got it to work. I'm actually walking to the ATM now because I had to call the pilot, make some arrangements directly with him. We then called the tour company back and we made a cash deal. So that's how we're going to get to see the blue hole. That's how this whole thing came about. And the reason is because there was only two people who had booked the flight. So basically, if they have three people, it costs like 225 or 250 each. And then when they only have two people, they don't usually let the flights go. But both of us, both people, and I haven't even met the other person, we were both willing to pay extra to make this happen. And uh, so I'm getting a little bit of cash now. So they save on their credit card fees, which is why I'm assuming it's a cash payment. All right, cash in hand, time to go and uh, meet the pilot who's waiting to pick us up. climb in on that seat there sure. yep. and seat belts on the seat life jackets in the clear pouch sick okay. bag is in the blue bag and life raft is behind your seat take all the space you need here to put your bag and stuff Perfect. Should be good thank you all right so I'm in the plane now you can see this is pretty much the plane and we're gonna take off soon but there's a another plane that's blocking our path but I think I think I'm ready I'm uh, I'm excited Definitely the uh, smallest plane that I've ever been on. Um, you can actually leave that open. Yeah, we want the breeze in as long as we can. Yeah. Going to the end of the runway so that we can turn around and go back up that way. As the plane approached, we dropped from about 3,500 feet down to around 500 to get these up-close views of the Great Blue Hole. A couple of hours before the flight, the tour company told me it wasn't going to be possible. So I decided to call the pilot Trevor from Caribbean directly. I was thrilled when he said he was willing to do it. Although it cost a bit more with only two passengers, we got to fly higher than the regular 1,500 feet, and I was able to switch back and forth from the left side of the plane to the right side of the plane and I ended up getting all the views I could want. Not bad for a bucket list flight that almost didn't happen. The best thing you can do is embrace it. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Did you like it? Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah, thanks cool. so much. So that was kind of one of the most amazing trips. I, I don't really have a bucket list or believe in bucket list, but seeing the blue hole was something that I really wanted to do, I don't know, in all my travels. It was like one or two or three things that I really wanted to do, so I'm really glad I did it. Our pilot, Trevor, was awesome, so I'm gonna leave a link to where you can get in touch with him down below. The airline is Care so if you wanna do this tour or other, any other kind of uh, plane-oriented tours, then uh, you can get in touch with him. I'll also leave a link to the tour company down below, Tsunami Tours. Again, this isn't uh, a sponsored or an endorsement, anything like that. This is just my personal experience, how it went for me, and I really enjoyed it. Everybody was really awesome. They worked to make the trip great and uh, were very, very helpful. So I'll leave a link to all those things because it is really worth it. We went up to 3,500 feet and then came back down to about 500 feet or so, circling around the Blue Hole. And it kind of worked out that there were only two of us on the trip because 
I got to swing from the left seat to the right seat to the left seat, that window, that window. I didn't have to worry about anybody next to me. I could spread out, I had all my cameras out. So it worked out just great. So sometimes, you know, when you're traveling, things just happen, right? And you, you just gotta cross your fingers. And today I was really lucky that there was one other person who wanted to go on the trip. So it actually worked out really well. Thanks to everybody who made it possible. Thank you guys. And uh, for all of you watching, thank you for watching. Before you go, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button down below because I'll have new videos for you every week. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.